hello guys so let's start with uh, a 2019 and uh, what we will do in this video we will create our first bot if you want to see that uh, how this solution will be done so you can check my previous uh, video about automation anywhere is enterprise installation where i have installed uh, 11.3 enterprise control room as well as the 11.3 client so the installation is same for 2019 also for the enterprise the only thing is uh, you do not require client to be installed because here the it is totally web based and browser based so you do not require the client to be installed there you can the client is embedded into the server only so to start for our first bot what we required is the user creation so if you have uh, installed the community version in that case you would have received the email where you will have the url and other things username credentials and uh, same with the a2019 also so you will get the credentials through email so but if uh, you are using the control room you have installed on your desktop or on your pc in that case uh, you require to create the user so for that also that how to create the users and provide the roles to them and access to them you can see my previous video so the link uh, to the previous video is given uh, in the description so let's get started with the our first part that how we can create the board on in a 2019 so let me log in through it my username and my password so here i'm just logging in into the our client uh, a 2019 client actually that's web based so you can see that it is all uh, uh, on the left side you can see the menus that will be available to the control room because i have given much of the access as an admin to this user so that's why you are seeing this but if you are simple user in that case you will not see administration and order log you can you will see more mainly the dashboard activity bots and devices so dashboard will give you all about the bots whatever you have run it to create it it will give you all the information regarding this so insights you know your matrix activity will show you it's not required in your client the activity that will be the administrative you can see the bots where you have created your bots actually so these are the bots i already had been created that's why it's showing all this thing under this i have also created you know training folder where i have added some new bots recently credential you can define packages so what's it they did it actually they have whatever you have seen in 11.3 here that is called tools actually in 11.3 it was called as a tools but here it is has been told as a command so command is nothing just like a tools in 11.3 so they have what they have did it they have make it into the jars each commands is now into the jar so they have all these packages i will show you just now when we will start creating a bot that all these are the commands actually that was previously in 11.3 so analyze application boolean they have come up with new packages or you can say like tools they have come in in previous version in 11.3 they were not there they were only two or four three or four variables type was there but here they have around 11 types of variables like numbers they have made it separate string list they have come up with boolean and other things so they have also advanced offices packages now so many new packages they have added into this release so we will go through them one by one and device is same as device so there my device will be there so i do not have the device here right now added to this so to run the bot what we require to create the bot uh we have to first steps so what we have to take it when you are just logging in as a user you have to register your pc to the control room your device to the control room 
so let's do that let's uh, add our device here so you can see that it's asking a connection because uh, what it do actually it download an agent on your system and that bot agent will communicate with the control room so connect to my computer so first time when you try to connect to it it will download the bot to your desktop which you require to install it and run it so that the agent can communicate the control room can communicate with the bot agent so it's a necessary and must thing for running the bot so all your system information they got it through the bot agent only so let me install this it's a very small agent having around 187 mb also which take very less memory so right now it's installing it so when it is get installed then we can connect it to the control room and we are able to run our bots so it's saying a new version of the application is already installed so i already have installed this agent so i don't need it so let me check it so you can see that my automation anywhere board agent is automated already installed in this uh, system so let me remove it so that you will have the clear idea of this thing so to remove it what i have to do it let me go through it go to the uh, remove program and remove the bot agent and install it all right so you can see that the bot agent i have installed it let me install it again so let me put the in my download let me go to the download a a one ninety three. Which one is the latest one? Okay, I will go with this one. This is was a version three. Let me install this. So it's installing the bot agent setup now. So you can see that uh, once bot has been installed it automatically detected your system here and register it right so one thing more guys to remember because uh, i already had registered my system so if you will go to this icon device login credentials so what you have to do it you have to provide the credential of your system so that it can communicate it to your system so for the device name that what will be the device name you what you can do it you can just open your command prompt and just write who am i so you can get the here your device username so you require this username here you can see here so this is the username you require to log in so just copy paste copy this uh, username and paste it here device username and provide the credential use your password of your system windows if you are using windows then you have to provide the windows password whatever you have the password here and update it so once you will update this password then you are ready to <clears throat> run the bot so that's it actually what we required so one more thing we required that uh, when we will run it you get to know that what we required one more plugin for the browser actually so let's create our first bot go into my bot if you like you can create a package so let's create a package so that because now from now onwards you will have you can receive many videos now with the having the full tutorial of this a 2019 where you can see all the tools and packages how we can use it so let's create 
one folder under it that will be new so i will just like to say remand that let's check this out only so i have created a remand track okay good create folder okay fine so we got the remand tag here now under this i have to create a bot so simply this is you can see this icon is for the bot if you have to create a bot this will be for the subfolders if you required here it will be upload files if you have to upload files to any to the control room you can select that bot or files to be uploaded if you want to delete the bot you can delete from here you can refresh here and you can into the tabular form if you require this thing. We have other also like create a bot or import bot or export bot. You get other options. So fine guys, let's start it. Get create a bot. Give the name of the bot here. My first bot. And you can select the folder. I've already been selected here, Remantech and create and add it so this is the new layout of the workbench which was here in 11.3 so 11.3 it was a desktop based it, now here it is a browser based so here you can see the actions this is all packages which i just shown you here so these are the packages under packages you have the commands which you can choose like analyze you will have close and open boolean you can have assign compare to equal to that was not in 11.3 so it is all new here we will learn them all how to use them one by one we will go through all the variables type and the usage that how we can use those variables here you have clipboard many things are very similar to 11.3 also the the all the all the all of you who have already done on some hand practices on this 11.3 so you will find easier to grab this uh, 2019 it is very much similar many commands are same but definitely some new are things and how to use them so here this is our workbench in a2019 and you can see that there are three are there one is one flow is there we have the list and we have the dual dual mean if you require you can drag and drop that will be in the like a flow chart it will show to you all the loops if conditions or you know whatever the command you will choose it from these actions and if you require to see in the type of like uh, commands coding as we have in 11.3 so you can choose the list here you will get this all the coding here and if you want all the view of flow and list together so you can choose the tool so you can see on the left side it will be a it will be a flow and here it will be a coding so let's get started so every whenever you will create a bot so it should be in between start and end remember this so start the bot and it will be the end of the bot if you require to put any triggers to this bot you can put your triggers here on the top so you can see drag a trigger here so that will be when you require triggers for this bot so right now we do not require the trigger we just want a simple our bot to be run so let's start the bot so what we'll do nothing simple we will just send a message that's it that yes we are successful so let's type here and search where the message is so message you if you remember in 11.3 you will have the message so we just drag and drop here the message right so you can see that uh, it's an icon here message here like in a flow chart it's going it here on the right side you can see the properties so as you remember in 11.3 there are properties we on the right click you can see the properties of the tool and you can update the property the same is with here so here you can see all the properties here you can change the title of this uh, bot so you just say remand tech message here you can provide your message hello a 
going to be great going to be great All right so this is our box just apply it here and save it so once you have saved it you can see that message is coming here now what we have to do it we have to run this but you can debug it also and you can analyze so if you remember in 11.3 wherever you require the anal analyzing of uh, custom analyzing you can select that parameter variable and it will be available for the bot insights so here the same it is analyzing we will go through it that how we can use this analysis and this for the reviews here so first let's start let's run this so when i will run this so it will do the pre-processing so pre-processing mean it will just communicate with the bot and see what are the packages available on your desktop all the dependencies of this uh, it will download those dependencies on your desktop and run the bot on your desktop so it will take time first time when it will download and run it so you can see it's now downloading all the dependencies which is required for your system to run this bot and good so this is our first bot a successful message from the bot hello a 2019 going to be great so we have successfully run our first bot so stop it you can see here good. So here you can have multiple things now in the next videos you will go through all the variables how to use those variables so we will go through all the variables and what whatever the package is available here so please subscribe my channel so that you can go through all the tutorial of a 2019 that which is very latest and the future in automation anywhere is going to launch this only in the near future 11.3 will still be remaining there but the next release may not come so it's better to go with the new versions of this one thank you guys thank you very much for watching my videos just subscribe for my channel so that you can get it and don't forget to press that bell button also so that you can get the notification whenever i will publish my new videos on 8 2019 thank you guys thank you very much